belt versus no belt in training and if I use a belt when I train. Uh, plain and simple, if you're a beginner lifter, you need to wear a belt. Uh, the belt will, it, the belt is only there to help you um, keep you stronger, tighter, um, allows you to learn how to use the core, um, and it will, it, it will speed up, it, it will speed up your uh, I want to say strength per se. So um, yes, if if you're a beginner, I would I would train belt, no doubt. Uh, if you've been in if you've been in strength training for a while, what I would do is um, I would try to get away from the belt uh, when you do your warm ups and your lighter, your your warm ups, and then once you get to once you get to like your work sets, I will put the belt on. Um, training without the belt it allows you to learn your body even more, but you also have a little more core stability uh, to withstand that weight. So, yeah, as you get into it and have some time on the, underneath the um, underneath uh, the bar, I will get away from the belt a little bit. Uh, me personally. The past year and a half, I haven't probably probably about the past two years. I haven't trained with a belt um, as far as just just training in general. Um, now, if I'm doing a meet, I will put my belt on probably the last couple weeks in my training before the actual competition. But I will go most of the time. I will go beltless, and the reason being is I've been in it for so long. Um, uh, I stay realistic with myself, uh, keep my ego away, um, and and uh, I'm like I said, I my 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 core is my core is there. All right, uh, it helped me learn my body even more. But like I said, the only reason why I did it because my core can withstand things, and I don't overdo. Or put too much weight that I can't, I can't control or maintain. That's the difference. Um, a lot of people want to just put weight on because everybody's always thinking about the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. How much, how much, and and really that's not how you get your gains. It's not the actual numbers. And I know a lot of y'all probably disagree, but uh, but uh, anyway, um, yes, I've I've been. I've been training without a belt. I uh, feel comfortable, and then when I actually do put my belt on for my last couple, last couple sessions, it's like amplified. But uh, I only suggest that for people who's been in the game for a long time, and the people who's just now starting. Uh, I would say a belt. I hope this helps y'all out, and I'll see y'all later.